Let's address the top strategies for first time home buyers to save for a down payment. And I'll tell you this, it is not just to be waiting for the foreclosure crash. Um, that is not it. So let's talk about what you can do proactively rather than just waiting around for something that um, a lot of people, frankly, are, are, are thinking that's coming. But um, whether that comes or not, you got to have money for buying a house. And here's the thing I want to go over. I want to go over the top tips for the down payment savings. So Kevin Briarton here, Certified Mortgage Planning Specialist, your no excuse lender. For first time home buyers, accumulating enough money for a down payment is often one of the most significant barriers that are holding them back from home ownership. A substantial down payment not only reduces your monthly payment, but it also can secure better loan terms in some cases, not all cases. Um, one of the most straightforward ways you can save is cutting back daily expenses. For example, if you spend $5 on a cup of coffee, you can save $150 a month, and that's $1,800 that can go towards your down payment. Um, you know, cooking out or eating out is huge. So if you can cook at home compared to eating out, these numbers add up quickly. And also you can actually probably um, cut a few calories by doing this too. And so it might be good for your finances and also good for your health. Look at cooking at home and being strategic about planning out your meals. This is a big expense, probably even bigger than the cup of coffee that you really could save a lot of money on. Also look at your subscriptions. Many people subscribe to so many different services, whether it's streaming services or the easy ones or other platforms, or other things we just sign up for on our phone. So take a minute, evaluate your subscriptions, see if you actually use it and then just cancel the other ones. Um, and here's the thing, just cancel it. And if you need it, you could resubscribe down the road, but just be aware. The key here is just being aware of your finances, just reviewing them for what you're paying out is gonna be really important. Also shopping, be aware of what you're shop, how are you shopping? Because there's some secondhand, thing, secondhand stores or even um, just discount stores that are, that are where they take them out of the mall and they put them in these other stores. That could be a huge savings. Sometimes, you know, upwards of 90% on some of these items, 50%, 40% is pretty common. So just be aware of that. You're gonna have to have, when you wanna have a home ownership, the key is to have the desire to be a homeowner, desire to have a house, to want to even want to have a house. And so once you figure out that desire to really go all in on the mindset of owning a house, all of these things are just ways to get there. But making the effort to save money is telling your subconscious mind that you do want to buy a house. And every time you save money, you're thinking, I wanna buy a house because I'm saving a dollar here, giving up something here. Uh, and all my studies, everything I've looked at is anything you get in life, you're usually giving something in exchange. And by doing this every day, just being aware of it and saving into an account tells the universe uh, that you wanna buy a house. And Saving, saving down payment money, you might not even need a down payment for it, depending on how you're structuring the loan. Every situation is different, so you wanna to talk to a licensed professional on that. But I like this one. This is a, a great way to automate it. This is, you should be doing this whether you're saving for a house or not. But one of the most effective ways to save is automating transfers into your checking account um, to a designated savings account. I actually like having it come right out of your uh, payroll. So if you have ADP or whatever you have at your work, have it go directly into savings and have it to into an account that's really hard to kind of access the money. You know, maybe you can't access it for a few days or whatever, just so there's a little bit of a barrier there. So save every day, but also automate those savings. So conclusion, saving for down payment can be challenging, but it's a totally achievable goal. Start out small, and then as it grows and accumulates, it will continue to become this huge snowball. But by making thoughtful changes to your spending habits or lifestyle, you can accumulate these funds needed to make homeownership a reality. So if you have any future questions or any other tips on saving for a down payment and um, you know, really achieving that goal and want professional advice, we work with some amazing realtors across the nation, the nation here. We are um, a certified mortgage planning specialist team here at the Briarton team, and we're excited to help. So um, first step is really just a 15 minute discovery call where we can just figure out how we can best help you, strategize with you. So what I'd like to have you go to is go to mortgagestrategycall.com. Uh, you can schedule a call there or give us a call 
at 480-553-8770 and we'll get you scheduled for that call. Have an awesome day. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.